Hey guys, welcome back to the Minish Cap. Last episode we crossed the swamp, and now we are going to head through this place called... What was it again? The Wind Ruins. And we'll try to get the third element. Oh, kind of screwed that up. Alright. You don't have to kill them. Um. Uh. Yeah. It takes a little while if you do decide to kill them. But yeah. All right. And you'll notice that unlike the last one, this one's eye is black. That's because he's not operational, and we got to make him operational. To do that, we will become a Minish Kid. Well, we'll grow to the size of the Minish, or shrink to it. Oh, gosh. Starting off this episode so well. <laughs> and you'll notice there's a little ladder we can climb on a shield. Go inside, turn him on, and we leave. That's all you gotta do. Okay, and we'll wake him up. And of course, try to kill him, but uh. I've gotten Kenstone pieces more often from those guys, but it's all like if I don't know if that's gonna happen. And oh, how about that? Talking about Kenstone pieces, and we got one from the grass. That's nice. That's why you want to cut grass, uh, so you can actually do that. Um, Set up here. Oh, you'll notice that the, you can't really see it because of my heart, but I, there's a little uh, tunnel there. Keep that in mind because we will be able to get back to that. It may take a little doing on our part. Okay. Oh, we can't do anything on that. Oh, come on. Really? You jump right on top of me. <laughs> All right, and we'll do the shrink. Come this way. Come down. Come over here. Come down. And right in here. Okay. Oh, come on, really? <coughs> I've been trying to think of, like, different, uh, like, what LP I could start after this one. And I'm not quite sure. Um, I'm still trying to work with my computer. I don't know if, by the time I get this up on uh, YouTube or what not, um, if it will be fixed by then. Um, apparently the OS I tried to put on it just didn't work. And it was a CD, so it should have worked, but apparently the person who uh, I bought it from on Amazon was just really, just thought it would be brilliant to send a non-working OS CD, so I'm gonna have to, I sent it back. I'm waiting for like the refund or whatever so I can get an OS that actually works but um because once I got my computer working I was gonna wait till I finished the LP and then I was gonna start back the last remnant well if I still am having issues with that um, by the time I'm finished with this one because we're pretty much we're hitting the halfway mark on this game, uh, we haven't fully hit it. There's still a good bit of areas left. If you look at our map um, that we have to go through, uh, but I was trying to think of a different LP, and I thought, "Oh, well, let's do a challenge on a game I love, and it won't be a ridiculous challenge like I did with um, Pokemon, but um, it would be." A very um, 
nice and challenging game while at the same time uh, being the fact that I've printed like I think I've only missed like one or two things in the entire game as, as far as trying to like to actually complete it so I thought well maybe I should try that it, like doing it, either completing it or doing a three heart challenge on uh, Majora's Mask. So, I don't know. I may do that. It, I, that game actually used to scare me as a kid. <laughs> it really did. Um, It came out in 2001, so I was still a kid. And my goodness. Was that ridiculous? Um, it, it was pretty much um, yeah, I didn't say anything, but these three are, um, you kill them to open that, but this one, he ran over there and just stopped. And we're going to have to do what we did to the other one, which was, um, instead of turning that guy on, we need to turn him off. And since he already did that, we just got to leave the screen and come back, and he's back to where he was. Alright. <coughs> But anyway, um, yeah, it, that was my plan. I don't know if I'm going to go it, do that. Um, I know I want to do the game. I just don't know if I want to do it, like, right after this one. have, like, two Zeldas right up there. I don't know. I, I might. Zelda for me is one of those games that I can keep on playing because I've always loved it. it like no matter what, what kind of mood I'm in, I can always play a Zelda game and feel a lot better. Anyway, that aside, let's get back to this game. All right, <clears throat> this is the temple, the forest of fortress of winds. And we're already getting into something. Hmm. To think that they are hidden with their ruins hidden within the cliff the whole time. Watch your step cross. There may be traps around here. Yep. Well, there probably is. Ah. No. Ah, come on. Really? The bat just comes out of nowhere and decides to attack me? Oh, man. Come back here. And I can't get that. Alright. Alright, we need a bow. I, yeah, we... Do we have... Yeah, we do. Gosh, I haven't played this in a while. For you guys, it wouldn't be much uh, difference in the time, but for me, it would be. Okay. How about this? Oh gosh. I have to summon them right in all over the place. A ruby like like You away. There we go. Climb up this ladder. And gotta kinda wait for these. And boom. 
We open the door. Cool. Alright. Um, yeah. And so we're gonna do it. We charge up our sword. We put one copy there and put ourselves here. And boom. Ow. Dude, that was rude. And one, and two, and three. And we got our big chest. Awesome. Let's get this one. Oh, we got max rupees. And got max arrows. Now we got the compass. We use it to find hidden items and location. Alright. Awesome. Now we go down here. Come over this way. Oh, come on. Alright, then go into this room. As you can see, we're going to be using the new mechanic of actually multiplying ourselves throughout this temple. So, it gives you a chance to get a good feel for it. Um, this isn't the only time we'll see it in a dungeon. It, there will be um, other dungeons that we come across that do that. Oh, man. Really? There we go. And now, we need to push it up, so... There we are. And, oh gosh, if they're in an, um... It, if they're, like, in a wall or something, this will happen. It, it gives you a little grace time. It doesn't automatically do it, like, with no... Um, regret kind of thing. It's like, hey, guess what? You're screwed. It doesn't do that. But... Which is nice. Mm -hmm. Did something fall down? Or is that just my imagination? Uh, it wasn't your imagination. Guess what? We're falling too. It's the easiest way to get down without any problems. And we got a small key. And now we can use it to open the door. You know, usually it takes me one or two tries to figure out which door is right. <laughs> Man, I'm actually happy I got that on, right on the first try. Let's see if I can do that again. Nope. Can't even get in that door. Alright, let's head up this way. Alright, let this guy pass. Awesome. We got a kinstone piece. Oh. Alright. Can always use more kinstone pieces. Alright. Oh gosh, really? Alright, the door is open. We got another kinstone piece. Alright. Go through it. Um yeah, I'll just come down here, come up, go up the ladder. Oh, gosh. Alright. Oh, come on, really? Flying skulls are everywhere. There we go. And we can't even get down that way. Ah, oh, fun. Alright. And I believe it's this one. Yeah, it is. Awesome. Now, all we gotta do is hit this way. This video may be a little bit longer than normal uh, for this series. I'm thinking about actually just making the videos 
a little bit longer, maybe like simply because it is ten minutes, but it seems like such a short time with recording. I can, I, like, I'd have to put like a timer, and honestly, I always forget to do that. So. Alright, we got our second key. Well, it fell, more or less. But, I think we can do this. I don't know. If it doesn't work, I'm going to get hurt. But Yeah, it works. Okay. This is what you want to do. You don't want to fall down yet. You want to turn to a minish, fall down, come this way, and we can get a piece of heart. Alright, now we've got our second piece of heart for the day. And I believe you just push one of these, some. Oh, there we go. And all we gotta do is head back and get the key. And we're good. Alright, we got a small key. Use it to open locked doors and blocks, and you can only use it in this dungeon. Cool. Let's go ahead and save it. So we don't have to do that again. Alright. Thank you guys for watching. Uh, next episode we will get through this temple. And we'll figure out what to do from then. Alright. Thank you guys. Well I already said that. Well anyway. I want to thank you guys again for watching this video. And I hope to see you guys in the next one. Later.